Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video was so highly requested on TikTok. Um, for those of you that don't know, I posted a video on TikTok. I'll just insert it right here. <laughs> don't you know that I cried tears of gold for you? I sit here It just blew up. I could not believe the amount of love and just kind words and sweet comments people were saying and it was very hard for me to answer some questions because you guys were asking for specific colors and palettes and I used different palettes and mixed different colors out of both palettes to create this exact look so it was hard for me to say I use this 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 and this in those tiny little comments that you get so here is a video. I do this a lot. A lot of my makeup looks I am grabbing out of different palettes and mixing different colors from different palettes. So it's really hard for me to answer those questions when you're asking specific colors because it's not just one color. So I really hope this video answers your guys' questions. If it does spark another question, ask me in the comments. I will get back to you. If you guys have additional requests, please leave them below. I will get back to you. And um, I just, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope I am giving tips and tricks and showing you guys different stuff that you never thought of before or you haven't seen and it'll spark a creative bug in your head to try something or even try this look, whatever it may be. I just, I am so excited to have people to show this to and are engaged with and it's making filming just so much better and happier and I am so excited to share all of my tips and tricks and secrets with you guys. So please leave requests and I will get back to you guys. Um, if you do truly like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It will help me out so much. And if you aren't already, please subscribe to my channel. I really wanna try to get monetized here on YouTube by the end of the year. I know I have a long way to go, but every single subscription helps. So thank you guys so much for everything, the requests, the love, the support the engagement with me over all my social media. I just, I truly appreciate it. So I hope you guys find this look helpful and you love it just as much as me because it is my go-to look. So thank you guys so much. And if you want to see how I got this look, then just please keep watching. All right, so we are going to start this look off with foundation. And today I'm going to use the It Cosmetics CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream in shade Neutral Medium. And then I'm going to apply that with their number seven Heavenly Lux Complexion Perfection Brush. I think if you're going to buy this, you better buy this because these two together are absolutely amazing and I highly recommend these two together. If I'm honest, I have tried to use this foundation brush for other foundations and it didn't apply like it did with this one. So honestly, if you're gonna buy this, you better grab this too because they're so good together. Concealer, I'm going to take Urban Decay Stay Naked in shade 30 in in and I'm just going to apply this where I want to highlight my face. I'm going to use the other side of that number seven brush from IT Cosmetics to um, blend this all out. Now I just take another beauty sponge and I'm just going to buff this out as well. I'm not going to slide it, I'm just going to be pressing it in. And now I'm going to set my face using the Kat Von D Translucent Locket Powder with another beauty sponge. I like to apply my setting spray, or my setting sprays, my setting powder with a sponge over a brush just because again, I feel like I can push the product onto my skin and it's going to cover it. Whereas a brush I feel just kind of like fluffs it on there. So what I do is just take this and just press it into the powder. Then I just start really stamping and pressing that into my skin and blending it out. Cause I don't ever bake my face really. Um, so I'm gonna try to spread this out as far as I can. For my contour, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour powder kit. The shade I'm going to use is the bottom left shade. I don't know what shade it is, but if you're looking at the palette, it's going to be that bottom left shade. And it looks like this. The brush I'm going to contour with is the Morphe M523. Here I'm just diffusing my contour using the same beauty blender I set my face with, but no extra product. 
So now I'm going to warm up my face and I'm going to use the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula and the Morphe E34 brush. On to blush, I am using Tarte Cosmetics in shade Risqué. I love this blush so much. It's literally one of my favorites. I'm going to use the Morphe E4 brush to apply that with. I'm going to use Gerard Cosmetics in shade Bridget for my highlight. And I'm just using the Morphe M501 to apply that with. Okay, you guys, so the last thing I'm going to do for my face is take this banana shade from the Anastasia Contour Kit, and I'm going to take the 501 brush and just pat this underneath my eye, and anywhere I put a highlighter or that concealer, I kind of go in those areas. So underneath my eyes, down my nose, chin, forehead, and Cupid's bow. I'm just going to pat this in. It just gives a smoothing effect and brightening. I absolutely love doing this step. If you don't do it, try it. You can also use the pink shade or a mixture of the two but I absolutely love doing this step. Like I said, I can see a difference already. This side looks so smooth, whereas this side I can still see like a little bit of like lines almost. It doesn't look as blended as this side does. So try it out if you haven't already. Now I'm going to set my face using the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. Let's dry that with the hair dryer. Now I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. I am just going to use the power of editing and do those because I have a brow tutorial up here on YouTube. If you guys want a new updated one, it's pretty much the same as the old one, but if you want a new one like current day, I can definitely do that for you guys. So let's just, and brows are done. So since the most requested thing about this look was the eyes, I'm actually gonna jump back off camera and do one eye and then I'll come back and walk you guys through each step on the other eye. That way the tutorial won't be super long and editing purposes, it'll be much easier for me to get this edited and up quickly for you guys. So let me do that and so I'll So the first right palette we're going to use is this palette here from Morphe. It is Jaclyn Hill's volume one palette. The first color I'm going to grab is her shade Silk Cream, it looks like this. And I'm just going to use a big fluffy blending brush to buff this out into the crease. So how I blend this out is I start in my crease and I just go back and forth motions. And then once most of that pigment's there, then I start like going in circular motions and blending it up and out. And then I also come in a little bit further and slightly connect that to my um, nose contour just to make sure everything like flows. And we're also going to buff this up towards the brow going almost all the way to my eyebrow and then I also extend this out just a little bit past where the tail end of my eyebrow is. Moving on to the next color I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Carly Bible palette and I'm going to use the shade Chai which is this shade here in the bottom and we're going to take the Morphe M441 brush we're going to put it into the crease, start with back and forth motions, and then start blending that up and fade it into that silk cream color. Now with the same brush, we're going to take the shade Bible, and we're going to put this on like the lower crease lid area, again using back and forth motions, really starting to deepen up that crease this mauve color is just so beautiful and it just ties the look together. And then again, I'm just going to slightly buff this upward and blend it into those other two shades. Now I'm going to take a really fluffy brush. This is the M504 brush. And I'm just going to start doing circular motions from inner to outer corner, up to the brow, on the lid, in the crease, and just really buffing and blending those colors together to make them look seamless and just really well blended so there's no harsh lines. Now I'm going to do the lid color and how I created that shimmer shade was I mixed three different shades together. Out of the Jaclyn Hill palette, I took the shade SBN and the shade Meeks and I mixed that with the shade Libra out of the Carly Bible palette. So I'm just taking a little bit of each color, 
onto an M43. Now I'm just going to use this NYX setting spray and I'm going to wet this brush. And then I'm going to look down into the mirror to expose my entire lid. And then I'm just going to start patting this color right on. And then I'll just slightly build that up into the crease. Again, just fading it onto the other colors. A little bit more of those colors. Tap off the extra, wet the brush again. Pat that on top. Again, I'm just going to intensify that color. Now what I'm going to do is grab the M441 brush. I'm not adding any additional product on this. I'm just using whatever was left on here to buff out this edge a little bit, just to make sure everything is seamless. Now I'm going to grab the Morphe M573 brush, and I'm going to take a mixture of the shades Mocha from the Jaclyn Hill palette and Bowie out of the Carly Bible palette. Tap off the extra and then I'm going to stamp this like on the outer corner and head into maybe about the halfway point in the crease but not on the lid. I'm going to take this and start flipping it or flicking it, whatever you want to say, feathering it to my like tail end of my eyebrow. I'm going to take a little bit of this Central Park and I'm just going to deepen up this very outer corner in like a stamping motion almost. Once most of that product is there then I'm going to blend that out into the rest of the outer corner just like that. Then I'm going to take this 433 brush with the shimmer on it. Nothing else, I'm not adding anything new. I'm just using this to blend out that crease so it's not too harsh. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the Bible color right in here. For the lower lash line, I am going to take a brown eyeliner and I'm just going to sweep this from inner to outer corner and line my entire lower lash line. It does not need to be perfect. We're going to buff it out with um, eyeshadow. This is just going to be a base to kind of get that good smudgy, smoky eye going. So now I'm going to go in with a mixture of the Silk Cream, the Chai, and the Bible Color. And I'm using a Morphe M506 brush and I'm just going to buff out that liner I just put on my lower lash line. How you're going to do this is just look up in the mirror. So I'm actually going to tilt my hood. My head is going to be down looking into the mirror, but my eyes are going to go up. This is going to tighten that lower lash line and make it to where you can get right up in there. Don't actually look at your eyeball when you're looking in the mirror because um, if you do, you'll poke your eye. So I just look down into the mirror, look my eyes up, I kind of set this where I know it needs to go, and then I'm going to start with a little back and forth motions, moving from inner to outer corner, just like this, very small. I look my eye opposite of where I'm working, that way it'll also keep that lower lash line tighter. And then once I feel like most of that product or pigment is off on the line, off on the lash line, I am going to move fully from inner to outer corner and bigger look like side to side motions. Don't forget to blend this into this outer corner. That way these will meet and everything will become one. Now I'm going to grab a mixture of the darker colors I used on the outer corner. So I'm going to use a mixture of Mocha and Bowie. And I'm just going to add this to the outer half of my lower lash line. If it gets over a little bit further than half, that is fine because we're going to add shimmer on the other half. Just kind of blend this in, make sure you're blending that up into the outer corner. Really connecting these two together. And then same thing, we're going to grab a mixture of the three shimmer shades. We're gonna grab a mixture of 
the SBN, Meeks, and Libra, and we're just going to mix those together and we're going to apply that on the inner half of our lower lash line. Wet the brush as well. This one's a little bit harder because it's so small, so let's just try over the spot where you want to start and when you're looking in the mirror and then look up and then just start small back and forth motions. Go about the midway point of your lower lash line. If it gets over further, that's okay. We're not done on the lower lash line, so it's okay. Now we're going to take the Shape Bible and put it right in the middle of the lower lash line, blending those two together. The last thing I'm going to do for the lash line and the look is I'm going to pull everything together and I like to do this with a smoky eye is I will take a shade that I just feel fits in or will add a little pop or will help smooth out the edges. So in this case, I am going to take the shade Cindy. It's like this, it's like this cute little like corally pinky orangey shade. And I'm just going to take a small amount of that on the 573 brush. I'm tapping off all the extra because I don't want too much. And I'm just going over the edge of the lower lash line on the outer corner, the inner corner, and then I will just dust it across the brow. And this just adds just like that little bit of smoke that it just makes it warm and just mixes and blends everything together. It, it truly brings the look to the next level. So don't skip this step. And then instead of using eyeliner to darken up this lower outer corner, I am going to take a flat little light shader brush. This is the M432. And I'm just taking a little bit of these colors here. We're gonna take a little bit of chip and, and then I'm just going to look up into the mirror and do very small like shimming motions on the actual lash line, staying as close to my eyelashes as I possibly can. I do bring this over a little bit to help like a winged look. That is how I created the eyeshadow portion of this look. I'm going to now throw on some lashes, mascara, and a little small, very thin winged liner to finish out the look. So let me do that. I'm going to throw on a lip and I'll come back and show you guys the full face all put together. Okay, you guys, so I did put on my lashes, mascara, and liner. I did actually come back to do my lips with you because it is seriously a common question. I get it in almost every single video and um, I wear this same look almost in every single video. So I'm just gonna do this with you guys and put it on here So the for lip you liner too. I'm going to use is by NYX. It is in their shade beige. I'm just going to line my lips. I don't overline my lips, I just line right on them, maybe a little bit above them, but not like overline them for volume or anything like that. Now I'm going to take Maybelline Baddest Beige. Also take my finger and I'm going to pat around my lips. The last thing I do is I add Ballistex Silk and Shine Chapstick over the top. You wanna know something crazy? I used to just do my makeup just like this and then I would just throw on chapstick and run out the door. Actually, I still do, who am I kidding? But when I want to wear a lip, this is usually my go-to lip, just lip liner, lipstick, chapstick, donezo. And then, actually the last thing I do is I pat it one more time. And then the last thing I'll do is I'll freshen up that lip highlight. Same Gerard Cosmetics Bridget shade. Just dust it right over the Cupid's bow area and down the sides of the top of my lip. Just like that, so good. Mm, I love that. Then I will have to take the lip liner really quick and just really lightly edge in the edges of my lips. Just All right, you guys, and this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to all of you guys that requested this video. I know there was a lot of you guys, so I hope that you guys took some tips and tricks out of here or will recreate this look. And if you do, I hope you guys tag me or send me a picture or something because I would love to see all of your guys' beautiful faces and recreations and it would just literally warm my heart. So 
thank you for all of the love and support that you guys have been showing me throughout all of my social media. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.